ladies and gentlemen. I'm very happy to be here to make a small introduction, introduction for our meeting. I'm addressing, I think, a very serious and well-informed audience, but nevertheless, prior to our discussion on the issue of Belarus as touristic destination, I would like to mention several fundamental factors which define its basic characteristics. Uh, judging by such criteria as territory and population, the Republic of Belarus is a medium-sized European country. It is situated on the strategic crossroad between the European Union and Russia, as well as between the Black and the Baltic Sea. Major transit and trade routes linking Europe and Asia go through Belarus. At the same time, our country is an effective barrier preventing misuse of these transit routes for drug trafficking, arms smuggling and illegal migration. Belarus is also a dynamically growing economy which is based on a large-scale manufacturing industry. At the same time, its raw material and resource base is situated outside the country and our domestic market is not large enough to provide for sufficient demand. This makes our economy a very open system, highly dependable on international trade. Just to compare, Germany is exporting around 50% of its GDP, Belarus about 70%. So the above mentioned characteristics of my country make it evident, national interests of Belarus can be met only by an active foreign policy, able to provide for the security of our still very young country, multiply positive effects of our natural geopolitical advantages, create favorite conditions for the economic development, thus ensuring the growth of the prosperity of the nation. What kind of policy allow reaching these goals? We believe the one focused on developing steady and respectful relations with partners abroad, defining spheres of mutual interest and transforming these interests into mutual benefits. These are our guiding principles in relations with all partners abroad without any exemptions, and we consider it's only natural to expect the same approach toward Belarus. We strongly believe there are no unnecessary, unnecessary partners for Belarus, but there are partners for, of major import, importance. And due to many reasons, geographical, economic and cultural, two principal and natural partners for us are the European Union and the Russian Federation. Both these directions of Belarus foreign policy, Western and Eastern, are equally important for us. Any attempts to set them off against each other, any calls to develop relations with one partner at cost of the other, we consider to be against our interests. Until now, this approach bore fruit to Belarus. For instance, statistics show that our trade relations became much more balanced than, say, in the middle of the 19th. At that time, the economy of Belarus depended both on Russian raw materials and on Russian consumer market. Trade relations with the EU were very limited. What we see now, the volume of our trade with Russia and the European Union has become almost equal. It is important to stress that new balance has been reached not by redirecting our exports from the Russian market to the European one. So we see no reason for any dramatic changes in our foreign policy. But we see a reason for concentration of our efforts on new targets, building up the level of cooperation with our Russian and European partners. The growing volume of economic cooperation and the logic of the new geopolitical situation when 10 years ago Belarus and the EU became di direct neighbors require normalization of the overall political climate. At the same time, the political framework of the relations between Belarus and Russia, the increased intensity and volume of contacts, as well as the results of transition of both our countries, require redefinition of economic cooperation, 
dismantling barriers for bilateral trade. We don't use only bilateral means and mechanisms of the Belarus-Russia Union in order to come forward in removing barriers for our economic cooperation. Minsk and Moscow actively apply instruments provided to us by structures of regional integration, such as the CIS, but primarily, and with good results, the Customs Union of Belarus, Kazakhstan, and Russian Federation, which will be transformed, transformed by January the 1st, 2015, to the Eurasian Union. Of course, any comparison is relative, but the Eurasian Union does not very much differ from the European Union. So I think it's enough for introduction of our main topic, the possibilities of development of tourism in Belarus. And I'm very happy that I have two guests here on podium. They arrived just from Minsk to give this short presentation to your attention. On my right is Mr. Vadim Karmazin, the Chief of Department of Tourism of the Ministry of Sports and Tourism of the Republic of Belarus. And Olga Matushka is representing the National Agency for Tourism in Belarus. I'll thank you very much for your attention and I'll give the floor to Mr. Vadim Karmazin. Thank you. Dear ladies and gentlemen, я очень рад от имени Министерства спорта и туризма. Хочу поблагодарить организаторов Конгресса, посольства Республики Беларусь в Германии за возможность познакомить вас со своей страной, с Республикой Беларусь. Uh, on behalf of the Ministry of Sports and Tourism, I, I'm really glad to uh, thank uh, the uh, organizers of the Congress and the Embassy of the Republic of Belarus in Germany uh, to represent our country here today. Республика Беларусь позиционирует себя как открытая страна. У нас текущий год объявлен годом гостеприимства. Наша страна ждет чемпионат мира по хоккею, поэтому... Я приглашаю всех к нам в гости. Ну, а моя помощница Оля постарается провести небольшую презентацию по нашей стране. Belarus is an open country. This year we have a year of hospitality in Belarus and host the Ice Hockey World Championship uh, this year. Uh, so uh, you're welcome to Belarus and I'm gonna uh, give a word to my colleague Olga. Uh, to represent the country by the presentation of Belarus. Спасибо. Thank you. So, dear ladies and gentlemen, uh, <laughs> my name is Olga, I'm a representative of the Belarus National Tourism Agency. And uh, on behalf of the National Tourism Agency, I also would like to welcome you here today and um, uh, to tell you uh, a little about our country and to show a small presentation uh, of the Belarus tourist potential uh, in particular. Uh, geographically, Belarus is located in the very center of Europe, uh, having borders with Lithuania, Latvia, Ukraine, Russia and Poland. Probably the most um, famous and definitely the most titled one uh, is uh, the Yalovezha Forest uh, National Park. Um, um, which is included in uh, UNESCO World Heritage List. Uh, the tourists can see ancient oaks here with uh, the age of more than 500 years and uh, a rare population of bisons, uh, the state of the Belarusian Santa Claus, uh, which is Dead Maros in Russian, uh, who lives in Belarusian forest all year round. Belarus is the country of hospitable villages. Indeed, rural tourism is one of our priorities nowadays, uh, to which uh, the state pays uh, much attention. We have about 2,000 estates uh, where you can relax close to nature, restore emotional balance and uh, reinforce health. Uh, they are very diverse from modest farmhouses to luxury apartments. Uh, the host will give you a warm welcome showing their hospitality and serve you with uh, natural products grown on their own yards as well as uh, offer a varied range of services for leisure and uh, recreation. Uh, arriving in Belarus, make sure you visit and see our unique uh, monuments of Belarusian architecture. Uh, we are the country at the cultural crossroads 
and therefore our uh, historical monuments reflect um, traditions of both East and West. And as East meets West, uh, modernity meets history in Belarus. Quite naturally, on the background of Stalin buildings, uh, fit European cafes, restaurants and fashion stores. Uh, so, if you want to experience the atmosphere of the Middle Ages, uh, you should probably visit our uh, two famous castles, uh, the Prince of Be Belarusian architecture included in the UNESCO World uh, Heritage List, uh, Nieswish and Mir castles, uh, which can buy features of Gothic, Baroque and Renaissance. Uh, the, uh, these are two of the most visited um, uh, tourist sites of the country. Uh, many places in Belarus keep uh, the memory of the Great Patriotic War, uh, among them the Brest Fortress Memorial, Memorial Complex Katyn, Krasny Berek, uh, honored and interesting places for those who are interested in war history. Um, if uh, we move from history to modernity, uh, today new attractive tourist facilities open doors to tourists, among them the National Library of Belarus in Minsk, and not less interesting, modern facility that meets all international uh, standards, mm, a sports complex Minsk Arena that looks like a park and can seat um, 15,000 spectators. This facility was built ahead of the Ice Hockey World Championship, which we will host this year in May. And it's really significant sporting events for, event for us, the event of an international level. The, um, so new uh, leisure and recreational facilities will open their doors to welcome and host um, uh, the uh, guests uh, of the Ice Hockey World Championship uh, 2014 in Minsk, sports complex Chizhovka Arena, a number of hotels of different categories and many other facilities. Uh, good news for hockey fans um, is that once you bought a ticket to any ma match, you don't have to obtain visa to enter the country for the period from the 25th of April to 31st of May. So it's a great opportunity not only to visit breathtaking uh, hockey matches, but uh, to travel around the whole country uh, without uh, any visa formalities. Uh, so traveling throughout Belarus, do not miss such opportunity, such important and interesting aspect as the culture and tradition, uh, traditions of uh, Belarusian people without familiarity with them, your impression of the country will be incomplete. And be sure to visit the Museum of Folk uh, Life and Architecture in Strochitsy and Tudutki, where you can learn how to make some items out of wood or uh, straw, clay, and uh, will taste Belarusian national cuisine. Uh, feel the cultural life of Belarus, enjoy theatres, find a chance to see the most famous one, the National Academic Theatre of Opera and Ballet of Belarus. Visit uh, exhibitions, festivals, concerts, museums uh, for any taste, historical art museums, uh, natural history and others. Uh, if you're a fan of outdoor activities, then we definitely have something to offer here too. Um, our travel companies uh, provide vacations to fit any taste. These are interesting hiking and biking trials in beautiful places, fascinating rafting and kayaking, uh, or water skiing, uh, horse trekking, uh, hunting and fishing. Uh, if you want to reinstall health uh, during your vacation, come to Belarusian, Belarusian sanatoriums and health resorts. Uh, the definite advantage of um, uh, them is a good good value for money and uh, without any doubts good medical equipment. Uh, our resorts are located uh, in the uh, pine forests uh, on uh, on riverbanks uh, and uh, where the nature itself is healing. 
Well, uh, if you come to Belarus on a business trip, uh, we can offer modern business centers, conference halls, hotels from the budget line to luxurious, five-star hotels and apart hotels, cafes and restaurants to feed any taste. So you will find everything you need uh, for walk and uh, recreation during your business trip in Belarus. Uh, usually most business trips are made to Minsk, uh, the capital of uh, the country. It's political economic, scientific and cultural centre. Nowadays Minsk is a modern metropolis with two million inhabitants. Uh, at first glance Minsk fascinates by an abundance of greenery and unusual large number of parks and gardens for a big city. Uh, besides that Minsk uh, has lots to offer for entertainment, cozy cafes, restaurants, bars, a wide range of uh, infrastructure for leisure activities satisfying the most demanding tourists in the event uh, in, in the evenings uh, and on weekends means residents like to go for a cup of coffee or a glass of beer. However, gourmets won't, won't be disappointed other. It's not a problem to find lux uh, luxury class restaurants in Minsk. So for more information about leisure and recreation in Minsk, visit the Minsk Tourist Information Center website minsktourism.by. And um, in conclusion, I'd like to say that it's impossible to represent the whole country in all its diversity just in half an hour or 15 minutes. And more detailed information about tourist facilities, uh, necessary information on recreation and leisure activities in Belarus, you can find, on, find at uh, our dedicated website, uh, belarustourism.by. Uh, and now uh, we would like to show you also a short video about Belarus called Belarus One Day in Life. So to see again the attractiveness and hospitality of our country. Uh, thank you so much for your attention and just a moment to start video.